port scan typically works by trying to systematically connect to uh, all the different ports on a given host. And typically what happens is when you try to do such a connection, you might get one of three different types of responses. So you might get back uh, kind of an open or accepted response. And obviously that's the, the best case scenario from the perspective of the person mounting the port scan, because that basically means that the the resource in question is available. In other words, uh, you can go ahead and, and start uh, uh, doing stuff to it. In other words, um, maybe put differently, you, you can think of it as uh, an indication that the service in question is actually listening. And, and by service, I mean the actual maybe application you're going to be trying to uh, exploit later on if you're the attacker. Okay. Uh, aside from open or accepted, the, the other category of response would be closed um, alternatively denied, uh, and you can also think of it as not listening. Okay, and this is clearly the, the worst case scenario from the attacker's perspective, and hopefully it's pretty self-explanatory. It just means that the that any connections uh, will be denied, that you just can't really make any more progress from this particular port. Uh, and then the final category of response you might expect is something called filtered, filtered, or um, dropped, um, you can also think of this as blocked as well. And again, this is uh, not a good indication from the perspective of the attacker because this really just means that you got no reply uh, whatsoever uh, from that particular host uh, with regard to that particular port. Okay, hopefully it might make some sense. Uh, and, and, you know, kind of going into some more detail, how would you actually go about implementing a port scanning attack? Well, there's a number of techniques that are typically used. Uh, and let me describe or at least survey some of those techniques here. Uh, so the most uh, common technique for doing a port scan is something called TCP connect scanning. And I say most common, I mean, I would say the most maybe straightforward from an implementation perspective and certainly something you find in, in various uh, implementations of port scanners. And, and connect here is actually a command. So it's a system command. So TCP connect scanning. And in this version, what, you, what effectively happens is you try to do uh, a TCP three-way handshake to... to Establish connectivity to a port so that typically involves uh, doing a sin. Uh, you get back an ACK, and then you do a sin ACK, uh, and this is really where you establish. This is kind of the three-way TCP handshake. Let me kind of draw some hands here. Uh, and at the end of this, uh, you basically have a situation in which uh, in which the two hosts are effectively connected. And the reason you have to actually go in and, and do three-way handshake is that if you kind of stop in between, let's say you just did the sin, you got back the act, uh, that the problem with just doing this is that the, the host that you're scanning is going to allocate a little bit of memory uh, in order to kind of store details about this particular transaction. It's got to actually maintain some state about uh, the handshake. And if it's maintaining this state, then it's very easy for that state to get flooded or to really kind of run out of memory. And so especially when you're trying to, let's say, do a port scan at many, many different ports on a given system, if you didn't close out the connection, if you didn't go ahead and, and complete the handshake, the, the system that was being scanned would basically run out of memory, would stop working and functioning correctly, assuming it didn't have any other uh, countermeasures in place for dealing with uh, what's called a SIN flood. It is tantamount to a denial of service attack on that system. Now, aside from TCP connection scanning, there's other, other mechanisms for, for dealing with or really for implementing a port scan. Another technique is called uh, TCP SYN scanning, and this is kind of a, uh, you can think of this as kind of half open. And this really kind of gets around the issue of uh, doing TCP connection scanning or, or actually doing a complete handshake. And the reason you might not want to do a complete handshake is uh, from a security perspective, if you're an attacker, a lot of technology out there, like for example, IPS technology, might try to look for the number of different open or completed TCP handshakes uh, mounted on a given host and they can use that as a basis for being able to detect if that host is being a victim of port scanning. And the idea behind doing half open scanning is you basically send a SYN and when you get back an ACK, you really send back a reset to kind of uh, you know, terminate the connection. And there's other benefits of, of, of doing this approach as well. Um, you know, one is that perhaps some, some scanners or some security technologies may not be able to, to detect the, uh, the half open scan. Uh, the second thing is that, uh, you know, as soon as you do a real TCP handshake, really control might at that point be passed up to the application level. And if for some reason you kind of tear down the connection after you've completed the handshake, the 
upper level application may not behave correctly. Maybe that upper level application will crash and that could cause all sorts of issues on that system and, and the attacker may not want that. On the other hand, if you do a kind of a half open scan, then as a result, what's gonna happen is, is that if you then reset the connection before the handshake is complete, uh, control is never really passed on to that kind of higher level application. And so that higher level application is unlikely or less likely to crash. And as a result, the attackers may be happier because they can kind of keep mounting their attack or keep getting more information about open ports and, and that sort of thing. Uh, and then aside from that, there's actually there's some other techniques for doing scanning, things like uh, TCP fin, another technique. Uh, you can also do uh, UDP-based scanning. So there's a technique that's called, I believe, UDP, UDP receive from, um, and that's how it, it operates. Uh, uh, another one is uh, UDP raw ICMP port unreachable, so raw ICMP uh, port unreachable scanning, port unreachable scanning, and these are all various techniques for being able to do port scanning. The reason that attackers have developed so many different techniques for doing port scanning is that uh, you know any single one you know, could be potentially detected by uh, an IPS technology or something similar, and by having you know, many different technologies at your disposal for doing port scanning, you're more likely to get through existing technology for detecting port scans. And obviously each of these variations on theme may have more subtleties associated with them. They may they may have other benefits and, and so on and so forth. But this just gives you kind of a flavor. This, is, this was my way of imparting on you uh, at a high level how port scanning works.